Wow. What a fish. What a fucking fish. Okay, um, we actually got this car 99.5% ready for primer. All the body work's been done, all the metal work's been done, all the rust has been repaired. Um, this is approximately, I would say a year and a half later, this is a year and a half later um, from our initial start on this vehicle so it's been a year and a half that we've been working on this and I'm gonna tell you I've been working on this thing pretty regular that means that I haven't really been putting it on to the side uh, for long periods of times to work on the vehicle so um, what I'm doing now is when I DA sanded it I found a few little I don't know what you would call them I guess dings door ding style dents and there was one there and there's one here and then uh, we got a little bit of block sand to do in this area right here and what this is right here this is actually where we uh, put the full quarter panel onto the vehicle so yeah once we get this all leveled out right here we're pretty much ready for primer um, like I said I found a few little dings right here and I don't believe no that's not a ding okay there was a ding here and a ding here but I have went over this car thoroughly, and when I say thoroughly, I'm talking very thickly. Um, what you're looking at is a deck lid. Uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of body work going on there. There's more metal pulling than there's Bondo. Um, I had to skim the whole thing, and when you see the hood, you're going to find the rest of it. And I'm repeating myself from yesterday when Minnie was actually, um, what can we say, uh, taping the car off. I'm repeating myself and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to get this car done and out of my shop I'm a one-man operation I don't have seven employees working for me I don't have a soap opera television show going on over here um, this is not fucking reality TV this is real action situation and when you're doing a job like this and you're getting little increment payments throughout the job it doesn't pay the fucking bills collision work is the only work when it comes to paint body that pays any type of money this a year and a half for everything that I've done to this I'm not even going to tell you how much it cost it doesn't really matter how much money I made on it but for a year and a half labor on this thing all right I, I mean it's fucking, it, it, it's 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 insane if you add all the hours up and then take the money that I fucking got paid on this fucking car and then uh, diabolically uh, take, let's say, 10 hours a day. We'll go ahead and do 10 hours uh, because that's my average work day, 10 hours. And then you break that into a year and a half of fucking labor to right now. It comes out to about four fucking dollars an hour. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie. The Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. today already and that's only block sanding all the black epoxy primer um, and when I say block sanding no we're not sanding epoxy primer we're scuffing it up so I can re epoxy prime it and then spray the polyester primer on top of the epoxy 
And now that we got onto that subject, I'm going to show you what I will be putting on top of this car. So what we're going to use on this job is this right here. Um, I found out of trying and testing several different brands of uh, polyester primer. And let me go ahead and make this very, very clear because a lot of people know I don't like spray-on Bondo. This is not a spray-on Bondo. This is a high build, super high build primer. All right, there's a difference. Now, when you get into, uh, what do they call that, uh, slick sand? When you get into slick sand and you get into uh, super high build shit, okay, you know, that's different. But this is not that. This is a premium polyester primer surfacer. And what this primer does is it seals in all the bodywork you see on this vehicle, seals it in airtight, so there will be no shrinkage at all on the car. So that's what this is actually really for, is when you got a car like this that's got a lot of body or, or possibly like I just got done with the Camaro, and you got spots that got big areas of bodywork, you want to go ahead and spray this on there before you spray this. All right. Now this is our 2K uh, uh, DTM, direct to metal. This is our regular 2K primer which is a very high build primer in itself. But by using this primer right here, I'm going to bring it a little closer, we're getting a double whammy shot on the situation. And what this does, this is a very high build primer, and what it's going to do for us, it's going to self-level itself out. It's going to build a nice leveling surface for us to block sand. And then, after that, we'll be able to apply our 2K high build primer. Now, this is the catch on using this stuff. A lot of people are going to tell you, go ahead and put it directly on metal. You cannot put this directly on metal. It will not work. Before we spray this, we've got to take our epoxy primer sealer and prime the whole vehicle. And that's what I was doing over here. I was prepping this piece of shit up so I can spray this. So to use this primer is an all day fucking job to do it properly. Because once I spray this onto the vehicle, I gotta let this sit for a couple hours to cure and then I can come back and spray this. Now another catch on this shit is you gotta have the proper spray gun to spray this with. A lot of people are using HVLP spray guns, primer guns, that ain't cutting it, okay? That is not designed for this stuff. Even a 1.8 tip, it, you, you think that you're using it right and you're not, okay? What you need is a gun like this. This is a Harbor Freight gun that costs 20 bucks, and it is a low volume, low pressure spray gun. It is basically a miniature pressure pot. Now, you saw a vehicle that I did several years back, and it was an Oldsmobile. I think it was a 72 Oldsmobile Cutlass 442. And I sprayed the top of that car with U-Pole brand Reface, called Resurface or Reface. And what that was, was not a polyester primer, that was basically a spray on Bondo. When I get a hail job in, when I get a job that's got extreme hail, and the customer wants to save his deductible, and he wants to say, my friend Pete, be my buddy, and I'm going to let you do this $12,000 hail job, but you know, I want to put a couple grand in my pocket. What can we do to save money? Because that's how most people are. They want to save money. Fuck you. I don't give a shit about you. You're just a fucking body shop, man, that's going to put cash in my pocket and save my fucking deductible.
Now's, Now's the time, time that you, you want to hit the subscribe button, button click, click on, on that bell for notifications, and comment below. Because if you don't, this big blob of Bondo is going to be inside your bed covers tonight when you crawl in there and it's going to get in places that we really don't want to talk about right now. Do, my friend, pay the favor and subscribe. Now, do it, or that Bondo is going to do you. So when you get those people in here, and they don't give a fuck about you trying to make a living and surviving, and you need to get the job in your shop because you need the money, that's where you say, okay, Mr. Customer, stick it in my ass with a big pole and, and, and make it hurt, guy. What we will do is the insurance company is paying to replace your roof skin. We are not going to replace your roof skin. Oh, uh, the insurance company is paying to replace the quarter panel because the top of that quarter panel, we're not going to do that. If you want to put money in your pocket, then uh, exceptions will be made. And then that's where the spray on Bondo, okay, I'm sorry, Bondo comes in. I'm in the middle of getting uh, implants. I got implants already. Uh, that was about three, three months, four months ago. Um, but now that we're talking about cheesy ass fucking customers that don't want to pay money and want my friend Pete to do shit for fuck off free, well, that's why I don't have the fucking crown. Because I'm doing work for fucking half price shit over here to survive. And if you leave a comment and you tell, uh, uh, you tell me, well, that's your fault for uh, cheesing out and um, and um, I'm doing stuff cheap. You don't have to. Hey, really, really. Open your own fucking shop up. Do your own fucking work. And I want to see you get away with charging every motherfucker that walks in the fucking door $150 a fucking hour. So, now that our ranting and raving has dispersed, I'm going to go ahead and get this car primed. I got to do a little bit of block sanding. Um, I got a couple spots. I showed you those. And then we're going to get that done. And then this car right here will actually be on the downhill slide. So I'm going to go ahead and prime this. I still got a full day ahead of me on uh, work here. And I hope that everybody got the message on this. So please go ahead and take yourself to part two of the primer job and what uh, polyester primer is for. And watch my friend Pete spray, or should I say uh, prime, a uh, 67 Camaro with the Featherfield G2 next generation uh, polyester primer. This is basically a how-to video. Uh, me ranting and raving and, and throwing all that, you know, other action in was just uh, a plus for you to, uh, you know, put a smiley face down there and laugh. Because in reality, that's all it really is, a big joke. It's a clown act, uh, uh, clown number, uh, SWRNC Southwest Rod and Custom. Joke is all this is. This is that, that's all it is. That's it. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, telling you to go to part two and see what this shit's really for. Take it easy. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.